Welcome to Small Steps. My name is Seth Potts and I want to show you how to freeze panes and split windows in Microsoft Excel. So a lot of times we get information in like this that has um, basically so many rows and columns you have to scroll left and right or up and down to view all of the data. Uh, now problem comes in when it's such a robust set of data that you're having to scroll back and forth just to make sure what you're looking at or find a specific date and time again or uh, whatever the case may be it's just sometimes it's real difficult to keep track of what you're looking at uh, example I have here is, is just from a radar sign um, you see it's got the uh, time and date on there and it's got a bunch of different columns a bunch of different information uh, minimum speeds maximum speeds range and it goes on and on um, both scrolling up up and down and left and right so what I like to do when I'm looking at something like this is use a function that uh, freezes a pane so uh, one of the biggest things that I run into so I use this one the, probably most often but you see when I scroll down all these titles up here disappear as I'm scrolling um, and when you get down far enough and you're trying to make sure you're looking at the right thing uh, one of these numbers over here and you gotta you have to scroll all the way back up to make sure you're looking at the correct label the correct uh, column here so what you can do is up on your tabs here go to the view tab and under the window section there is a uh, button called freeze panes now, under the drop down there are uh, three options on it these bottom two uh, automatically freeze either the top row only or the um, leftmost column only so to that problem I was speaking of, of uh, losing where I am in a spreadsheet when I'm scrolling down I click freeze top row so all my titles up here all my labels in those columns I can scroll down to whatever I need to and those stay there as a reference um, and then on the same token you could do the same thing for freeze the first column so all these times and dates if I want to keep track of those of what I'm looking at but scroll over for this other information I can do that and keep that the same there um, and then you can just click unfreeze um, to remove any filter like that so um, the other one that's on here allows you to do both um, so freeze panes depending on where you're selected it will freeze everything above it and everything to the left of it so something like this where I want all those labels there but I also want to keep all the dates and times so I can scroll up and down and left and right without losing that information to see where I'm at and click right here in B2 and it'll freeze everything above it everything to the left of it so click freeze panes now I can scroll up and down and uh, that stays there as well as left and right and you see those columns and rows that I wanted there stay the same and you can use that anywhere I can click anywhere in the sheet and, and do the same freeze everything above it and everything to the left of it um, I'll unfreeze those for now one other thing that you can do if you want to have two different sections you can scroll on at once let's say uh, with this long list of days and times I want to compare one day to another um, I can click anywhere um, typically around the middle is what I would do and uh, you click in this far left column um, for this you can click there and then um, hit the split button and you see this line that goes across here it shows you where the split is and if you look over here there's scroll bars for the upper half and the lower half and they can overlap with the same information so if I scroll all the way up on both I'd be looking at the same thing on both but this this allows me say I'm wanting to compare these first days here um, to you know some of the lower uh, or more recent days down at the bottom you can kind of do that split this window um, so you can look at multiple things at the same time you can also if you want to move this bar you can just click and drag it and it'll move it to another uh, location for that split you can double click it and it'll disappear or you can just click the split button again and it'll disappear so if you click in this far left column it, it splits it across if I want to split it uh, left and right here I can um, the same type of thing I'll click in the top row um, wherever I want it split and click the split button and you see the line goes up and down here so I have scroll bars that can go left and right for each now um, so again I'll remove that and one other thing to do with it is if you want this split both um, scroll bars both vertically and horizontally you can click wherever you want that split to be in the middle of the sheet and click the split button now you see you have two sets of these um, lines going across and you see I've got the scroll bars uh, both for scrolling up and down and then um, we're saying left and right so um, 
if you have yeah, multiple things you want to look at, this splitting it could be quite a handy thing where you can scroll multiple places on uh, multiple sheets like this. Um, but overall, on this view, this uh, window pane, um, the freezing panes and split be quite handy when you're dealing with these larger sets of data. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, click like and subscribe. The next video coming up is going to be over a drop-down list with data validation.